All right, let's see how the local boss here has kick-started the day. Here is Temple again. Hello, Temple, once again. Bring us up to speed with today's trading activities. Well, it's not funny at this point. Streamers here were down by more than 1.5% in the market. That's a whopping 150 business points decline in early trades. Well, we've heard uh, from the authorities that they'll be shutting down a whole lot of sectors, uh, uh, churches, mosques, um, public places, uh, you know, where you get to have a lot of crowds will be shut down going forward. So we're beginning to see retail investors pulling out of the market, selling down. Today being Thursday, uh, once they're able to sell down, you see a situation where their funds will be processed ahead of Monday because this is, the market uh, still experiences uh, T plus three uh, trading day settlement and clearance uh, kind of system. So that's way they will be able to have some fund that, at, at, at hand and be able to possibly you know buy some of the groceries that will be needed for this period and be able to uh, you know stock food at home and all of that so that's the reason why i, I, I we're seeing uh, this level of uh, sell-off in the market again a bit of profit taking because if you look at counters like a Zenith Bank, where we had seen uh, some investors that, you know, scurried into when it fell to as low as 10 naira, 90-something kobo, 11 naira. Uh, yesterday, it hit the uh, high of uh, 13 naira, 40 kobo. At some point, it was even as high as 13 naira, 82 kobo. That provided, that offered them an opportunity to be able to exit the market with some of the uh, profit that they've been able to make within that short-term period. And so, it's uh, time right now to actually exit the market. Other counters are also experiencing uh, lots at this point. Um, I'm wondering what is actually going on with WAPIC, WAPIC Insurance. About 100 million units of its shares have actually been traded down this morning. And of course, GT Bank that made some gains yesterday is also down. Uh, we've seen some 7 million units plus traded off this morning uh, on that particular counter. Across board, we are seeing uh, some sort of sell down uh, at this point in time. I guess some investors are uh, trying to brace up for uh, the unforeseen circumstances, the unforeseen circumstances that may come with this whole COVID-19 that seem to be penetrating the Nigerian uh, market space and, of course, the society uh, deeper and deeper now. Because, again, you know, uh, you may say that we've heard uh, of a case in Ekito State. There are cases in Lagos. The cases in Lagos continues to uh, increase. So all of this is putting investors, again, back on their toes. And so speculative investors are the ones really dominating activities in the market on the equity side of things right now this morning, Chimizu. Well, New York Stock Exchange has already announced it will shut down its trading floor starting from next week. Let's just hope that NSC uh, does not do exactly, exactly that. Thank you, Temple.